Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here with Geekazine, Think Magazine, Put in a Geek, and uh, I'm going to, sh uh, today we're, we're going to uh, continue on with TubeBuddy, which is a program that I found when I wanted to learn, I basically wanted something that would copy annotations from one video to the next, and I found TubeBuddy, uh, a relatively new uh, program that's been doing a lot of cool stuff lately. And uh, you get a lot of options to turn your YouTube into a more productive YouTube so you don't have to basically rinse and repeat a lot of the stuff that you've been doing. So uh, so in the first video I showed you, how do you uh, it, take the uh, basically copy your annotations and copy your cards from one video to all of your videos. You could even delete old annotations. You could delete old cards and start anew with this program, which is really great. Before we do, uh, this is not a sponsored video, but I do have an affiliate code over at TubeBuddy.com forward slash geek. TubeBuddy.com forward slash geek. You can save yourself 20% off of TubeBuddy, which I highly recommend. If you do hundreds, if not thousands of videos online, then TubeBuddy is a great way for you to, uh, to manage those videos and add extra value to this. Once again, I'm a YouTube partner. Um, so I don't know if other networks, how other networks work. I don't know if there's any other type of overlays or anything like that, how they work, work with them. So basically, I just basically use TubeBuddy inside of the videos, and that's pretty much it. So my the first video, once again, up on Geekazine. You can go over there and check it out on the annotations and cards. Today, we're going to take a look at the Share Tracker and the Advanced Embed. These are basic two, two basic things that you use uh, for sharing your stuff to different areas. This one to basically social networks. This one, if you have a WordPress uh, WordPress layout or something like that, you want to use that. So let's start with Share Tracker. Fairly uh, straightforward. All you have to basically it, it allows you to take this video and put it on some of your uh, favorite social networks. You want to put it on Reddit. I want to put it on Twitter, Facebook. You got a blogger account, and you can uh, you can check there. You shared it with Blogger today. Um, I can share it with Pinterest today. I can share it with Twitter today. Um, let's do Google Plus. Let's do LinkedIn. Um, let's do Dig, and go from there. I, I don't think that there's any extra work involved in there. I don't think uh, it goes to your channels. I think it shares through TubeBuddy, but I'm not 100 percent sure. So uh, let's let's see if we can open. Yeah, basically, if you want to submit your link with Dig, you can sign in with Twitter and do it that way. Or uh, if you want to go through uh, uh, Live Journal, we've got uh, Stumble Upon. We've got uh, this looks like a Russian type social media site. So as you can see, we've got different options here, and I'm guessing that this will grow as we go. If you need, uh, if you need. Uh, option with, uh, I don't know, a, a Japanese social network or Chinese social network or a, a you know German social, anything like that. All you have to do is basically go into TubeBuddy. Let's, uh, let's link that out. Go over to TubeBuddy, go to sub submit an idea and say, hey, I want, I want this social network to be added into there. And they'll go from there. And as that grows, you'll be probably be able to choose from there and, and uh, choose which social networks you want to hook up on. And that's the share tracker right there. Next one is Advanced Embed. This is awesome. This is actually something that I suggested that they added to, and so I'm really happy that it's part of it. Um, before, if you needed the embed code for a video, you had to open up the video. Well, let's do it really quick. Open up the video. And then go down to share, which you can't see. So we go down here to share. And then we go to embed. And then there's the embed code. You can show more and uh, and get more information on that uh, video size and stuff like that. But, that, you know, if you're posting to a social network, if you're posting to your WordPress account, that's a lot of steps. So I asked them, hey, can you just take the embed and put it into the front page there? And they did it. So... We go over to uh, basically go over to uh, TubeBuddy here, and then we go to Advanced Embed, and we click on that, and now we have everything at our fingertips. So I can change the size, I can do a custom, I can do a large, I can do a small. Uh, small sizes are great for those, you know, like if I'm I'm going to be doing uh, putting together a page over at HowToRecordPodcast.com about this. 
So I want my video size to be uh, something like 315 to, let's see. Oops, I hit the preview. Sorry about that. If I do uh, custom and I go uh, three, 300 by 550, that would give me a side uh, image for this. So I can have blog post over here and I can have the, uh, the YouTube uh, file over here. But for most videos, I just use 560 by 315. I can choose it to autoplay. I can loop the video. I can hide the play bar. Uh, hide the suggested videos at the end if I don't want competition finding out who I am. Um, show videos, so on and so forth. So I think this is actually playing. There we go. Yeah, let's just pause that really quick. So the, pre the preview is going to show you. Once once you, you hit autoplay video, the preview is going to show you what you do if you go over to the preview area. So um, down here is the embed code, and they have a small little error, which I've already reported. They don't have the closing iframe. So if you copy this, you want to create an iframe at the end. I think I can do it if I do. It's like iframe. So it should technically be like this. Um, so I'm guessing in the next day or two, they'll, they'll fix that up and, and, and go from there. So you'll have that full iframe. You'll go copy, and it copies to your clipboard. You can then go into your WordPress or whatever. We'll just uh, call up a notepad just to show you. So I'll bring over my notepad here, and I'll do paste. There it is. That's the, uh, well, it doesn't look like it did the whole thing, but uh, yeah, I'll have to end up doing the uh, closing iframe in there to uh, to go from there. But and then, like I said, I, I, don't, I would expect in the next couple of days this will get fixed, so don't worry about it too much. If you don't see it, make sure it's there, and then just type it in and go from there. So um we don't need to save that but uh so basically we'd then copy that that would go into your your wordpress account your blogger account or another area where you can actually copy and paste uh youtube videos into and then uh and then just it's there and it's ready to to play and it's ready to go and you're ready to go simple as that so these are, these are the two the share tracker which lets you go to the different social networks and the advanced embed which allows you to create your custom embed for your blog or for wherever you're going to be posting this YouTube video. All right, well, next up, we're going to show you the thumbnail generator, and we're going to do that in the next video there. Uh, be sure to check out the first video where we copy the annotations and cards. And then after the uh, thumbnail, we're going to get into some of the other cool stuff that this does, especially that tag generator. I showed you a little bit about it in the first video. But there's a lot more you can do with the tags. So we'll do that next time. Until then, you guys geek out. And remember, hey, if you want a copy of it, go over to TubeBuddy.com forward slash geek. TubeBuddy.com forward slash geek. You can get 20% off. It is an affiliate link. You can get 20% off your purchase of TubeBuddy and start using it like I'm using it, which uh, it's, it's a lifesaver for uh, my time in creating these videos for YouTube. So thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time. And geek out, folks.